Hey you basketball players and Kobe Bryant fans, today I'm going to be talking to you about his pivot work and how his jab step was so effective. Now, what's one thing that we all get taught as basketball players? That's the jab step. Basically, you're jabbing, making it look like you want to drive on that side and while you pull yourself back and that will at least create space for you to drive on the opposite side of the jab step, take a shot or drive back in the same direction. So that's what Kobe Bryant does. That's one of, that's the basic, most basic thing you can do. A, a jab step, go the opposite way. Bring that same leg back around. The other thing he does on the basic side is jab, bring back and shot. And then he does the jab and then a second jab in the same direction. Now those are all basics that everyone can do. However, I'm gonna be showing you some different jab steps that Kobe Bryant utilizes. The first one is the double jab. So what I mean by that is he'll do a first quick small jab and then a second jab right after. So it'll look like, like that and then he'll drive. So he'll go one, two, and then he'll drive, or he can go one, two, bring back, and then drive again. Or he'll go jab, jab, and take that shot. Or he, he'll go jab, jab, and then he'll go in the opposite direction. The double jab step is super effective. Now, a few times I've done a triple jab step, which is just bang, 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 and then you start going after that. So you go bang, 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 and then you have to attack after because usually you will be off balance. So I've seen, I don't have any highlights of him doing the triple jab step, but it is something that I have seen him do a few times. It's actually the reason why I've done it in game a couple of times. And all it is, is bang, 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 and then you go. Basically what you're doing there is freezing your defender. Now another thing that Kobe Bryant does is the high jab step where he'll bring the ball over top of his head and make it look like he's going to drive on that side. Now, this is a very effective move. Now, it's not one that I've personally used in game, but for him, it seems to be super effective. So he'll bring it over his head, jab step, bring that ball down to make it look like he's gonna drive and bring it back around. Now, the reason why I think this move is so effective for him is because now, with that ball going over that head, it's making the defender look at the ball and when that ball comes down, that defender then moves. This is why I think that move is so effective. Now, another thing that Kobe Bryant does is the forward jab step. Now, there's two different types of forward, actually technically three. The first one is very simple. You jab into the player, making the player take a step back. This is if you've got a little bit of room between yourself and your defender, and when you make a move like that, no matter what, who you are, you're usually gonna take a step back because you think he's gonna go bang into you and take that shot, hoping to grab that foul. That's why most players will take that step back. Now, what he'll follow up with that with is a, usually a quick shot. So he'll do a quick jab in front and then he'll create that shot for himself. However, another jab step move that he utilizes is if he's got a very good defender right on him. And I mean, literally, an inch from him. He'll have the ball up here and he'll go into his defender and then he'll be able to create space to take that shot. That wasn't a gunshot, that was uh, car exhaust from somebody who doesn't know how to tune a car. Now, when you get that ball and you've got somebody right on you, you can go into him. You don't wanna lower that shoulder because it will be a foul, but you wanna keep that shoulder above your foot and then you can take your step back and you can take that shot. That's one, sh that's one way that you can create space, but you have to be really strong to be able to do that. Now, Kobe also does the double jab step in front of him as well, and that does create a lot of space for him to get his shot off. Now, if you're a young basketball player and you're looking to become a very good basketball player, there's nobody better to watch than Michael Jordan and also Kobe Bryant. Watch their feet. Watch how they use their feet in game, and then if you can find practice video on YouTube of them, watch their footwork. Their footwork is absolutely amazing. Now, if you could now add in Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan's footwork, which is a lot what allowed them to score so many points, 
and add in the strength of somebody like Zion Williamson or LeBron James, you're going to be a one hell of a basketball player. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. If you feel like supporting this channel, go check out some of the merch down below. I'll see you guys again next time.